The plum pudding model was a model of the atom that incorporated the recently discovered electron, and was proposed by J. J. Thomson in 1904. Thomson had discovered the electron in 1897. The plum pudding model was abandoned after discovery of the atomic nucleus. The plum pudding model of the atom is also known as the blueberry muffin model. In this model, the atom is composed of electrons surrounded by a soup of positive charge to balance the electron's negative charges, like negatively charged raisins surrounded by positively charged pudding. The electrons were thought to be positioned throughout the atom, but with many structures possible for positioning multiple electrons, particularly rotating rings of electrons. Instead of a soup, the atom was also sometimes said to have had a cloud of positive charge. With this model, Thomson abandoned his earlier nebula atom hypothesis in which the atom was composed of immaterial vortices. Now, at least part of the atom was to be composed of Thomson's particulate negative corpuscles, although the rest of the positively charged part of the atom remained somewhat nebulous and ill-defined. The 1904 Thomson model was disproved by the 1909 gold foil experiment of Hans Geiger and Ernest Marston. This was interpreted by Ernest Rutherford in 1911 to imply a very small nucleus of the atom containing a very high positive charge, thus leading to the Rutherford model of the atom. Although gold has an atomic number of 79, immediately after Rutherford's paper appeared in 1911 Antonius van den Broek made the intuitive suggestion that atomic number is nuclear charge. The matter required experiment to decide. Henry Moseley's work showed experimentally in 1913 that the effective nuclear charge was very close to the atomic number, and Moseley referenced only the papers of Van den Broek and Rutherford. This work culminated in the solar system-like ball model of the atom in the same year, in which a nucleus containing an atomic number of positive charges surrounded by an equal number of electrons in orbital shells. Bohr had also inspired Moseley's work. Thomson's model was compared to a British dessert called plum pudding, hence the name. Thomson's paper was published in the March 1904 edition of the Philosophical Magazine, the leading British science journal of the day. In Thomson's view, the atoms of the elements consist of a number of negatively electrified corpuscles enclosed in a sphere of uniform positive electrification. In this model, the electrons were free to rotate within the blob or cloud of positive substance. These orbits were stabilized in the model by the fact that when an electron moved farther from the center of the positive cloud, it felt a larger net positive inward force, because there was more material of opposite charge, inside its orbit. In Thomson's model, electrons were free to rotate in rings which were further stabilized by interactions between the electrons, and spectra were to be accounted for by energy differences of different ring orbits. Thomson attempted to make his model account for some of the major spectral lines known for some elements, but was not notably successful at this. Still, Thomson's model, were earlier harbingers of the later and more successful solar system-like ball model of the atom. Related scientific problems a particularly useful mathematics problem related to the plum pudding model is the optimal distribution of equal point charges on a unit sphere called the Thomson problem. The Thomson problem is a natural consequence of the plum pudding model in the absence of its uniform positive background charge. The classical electrostatic treatment of electrons confined to spherical quantum dots is also similar to their treatment in the plum pudding model. References